this stuff. So I'm going to move it over to the ukulele boy. Oh my God. Hey guys, I'm here with Jen did that. And we're going to do my hair. We're just styling today. So we'll be showing you guys how we wash and style these curls. I'm 3C, right? So you learned, but yeah, close. You have different textures, I do but, have different textures, but um, yeah, mostly I want to say that, yeah. I'm mostly 3C curls, yes. so we'll get this started. First, we're going to shampoo with the Olaplex Bond Maintaining Shampoo. We're going to go ahead and do two shampoos. So this is the first one. She's getting all in there. Rinsing that out. And we're going to go ahead and go in with a second shampoo. Mostly just focusing on the scalp. We don't really need to go to the ends of the hair just because I did wash my hair a couple days before this, so it wasn't super dirty or anything like that. Rinse that all out. Then we're going to condition with the Olaplex Bond Maintenance Conditioner. Get that all over my hair. And then Jen always likes to go into sections and start detangling my hair and also just making sure that all of my hair has conditioner in it. This really hydrates my hair and it helps when you need to detangle. So she does this and I also do this. She's also going in with a brush. I don't know the exact brush that she's using, but I like to use the Tangle Teaser or a Denman brush. And from looking at this brush, it does look like it has the similar bristles of a Denman brush. Look at how nice and moisturized my curls look. I find watching this so satisfying. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So she's parting it, putting it into sections so that she can really get in there. I think this is a caracol brush. Notice how she's starting at the ends when she's detangling my curls and then she's going to the roots. I always recommend detangling while you have conditioner in your hair. It makes it so much easier. And now she's going to use some water just to add some more moisture so that it can help her detangle. Because sometimes in the middle of detangling, your hair starts to dry a little bit. So to add that extra slip, it's amazing to always add water. I remember I used to be really lazy and detangle my hair after conditioning when I was styling but detangling while conditioning in your hair makes your hair feel so much better once you get out the shower and it also helps decrease the amount of shedding that you do and the amount of breakage because the conditioner definitely adds in extra slip.
Now she's mostly just detailing with her hands and her fingers. Making sure all of my hair has conditioner in it. Oh my god, feel your hair. Girl. No, I, I just can Maybe it's nice and strong. strong. Good, right? Nice and strong. I like it. I like that it's heavy. You know, remember how I used to say your hair is floating? But now you're getting the moisture into the hair. Yeah. So whatever you're doing, you're doing well. Yeah. I'm going to add more moisture now. Should I give you your protein with the, with the, with the, um, not the, oh my god, the other parts? And now I'm giving you moisture. She's going to style my hair using the Weed Dad whipped curls daily conditioner this is so good my hair loves this it's like a mousse but it's a styling cream i love what this does to my curls so she's just gonna evenly disperse that all through my hair she's gonna section and get that everywhere She's gonna also use that same brush that she was using to detangle the caracol brush to style my hair and really clump the curls together. Lastly, she's gonna go in with the Wee Dad Advanced Climate Control Gel. I love this gel. If you have 3C curls or even coily, kinky hair, definitely try this out. It is a very lightweight gel that gives you that nice amount of hold without making your curls super crunchy. I completely, 100% recommend this gel. Again, she's applying it in sections, making sure that all of my hair has some gel in it. And now she's going to be finger coiling the front of my hair to really frame my face with big juicy curls. She had me flip my head over so that she can focus on the back of my hair and make sure that I wasn't going to be getting any frizz there. So she's using the caracol brush to clump up those curls. Now she's using a microfiber towel to really scrunch out all the extra excess water out of my hair so that it is not dripping wet and it will also be quicker to dry my hair now. So I always do this. I use a cotton t-shirt and then she's going to spray my hair with the 7 Boost Spray. This is just good to lock in all the moisture. And now to diffusing. This is the longest part of the entire process. She starts by diffusing my roots and then she goes down lower and tries not to move my hair too much because that's how you cause frizz. But this is a sped up version so that's why you can see her moving a little faster than she actually is. The last spray that she used was the seven bond spray i believe and this also just adds extra hold and it is anti-frizz and that's it the hair is done i'm jen did that jen doll
Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it looks so, I keep having to clean my phone. Hold on. Mm. 